Sorry guys, this one is a little late, but in this video we're going to cover the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 EPTU patch for Evo Kadi. For feature updates and gameplay under the character category, they made some more polish to the character customizer. They've added multiple music endings to the character customizer, which will play contextually based on the player's progression through the customizer sequence. Updated the clamp values for makeups. They've set hair lengths to two hair styles and they've set new hair lengths for all full facial hair. They also made a polish for EVA transition animations. Under the location category, they made further water render sim quality tweaks and polish. Under the AI category, the ship AI combat improvements have also been made. It says ship combat AI has become much more formidable in 3.23 with this update. AI ship pilots have been toughened with the new behavior based on real PU combat via collecting data from experienced dogfighters to give them more sets allowing them to, to do strafe runs, new orbits, more intelligent maneuvers, distancing, and much more. Blurring the lines between player and AI. I think this is a good update. And um, recently I just, I seen a, uh, um, a Spectrum post pertaining to this specifically that uh, the AI is so good now that the uh, Evo Kadi has started complaining about how good they are. Um, so that's, that's interesting. I like to see that myself. Under the gameplay category, they made Moby Glass Star Map UI polish updates for the physical shopping AR UI polish. They've added prone grenades throwing underarm animations. Under weapons and items, they've reduced the bearing pistol ballistic damage, increased the Gemini rifle ballistic damage, reduced the KSR shotgun energy damage. They've increased the Luminin V SMG damage. They've smoothed out the Gemini sniper recoil. Under core tech, they made CPU and GPU runtime performance optimizations. Under the bug fix category, there's quite a few this time around. They fix an issue where the game will not launch. It says error star citizen has stopped running unexpectedly, has been fixed. If they fix an issue that could cause client crash when using a tractor beam on a corpse. They fix an issue where translations in Lorville are missing. They fix an issue where the vis area between the ramp and the storage bomb room is missing, preventing you from entering the ship. So now this is for the Crusader Spirit series. They fix an issue where the PIS wheel has placeholder text when interacting with certain interactables. They fix an issue where chairs and stools are clipping inside of tables. They fix an issue where ASAP terminals are missing text elements. They fix an issue where the refinery does not list or identify ship content. So now this is for refinery kiosk all throughout the PU. They fix an issue where location names on some planets or moons are difficult to read on sunny sides. Now this is for the new star map. They fix an issue where with helmet removed, the chat UI is off screen and inaccessible. They fix an issue where chat UI input fails to close from expected input. They fix an issue where party markers are misplaced on characters. They fix an issue where redo only works on one instance. So now this is the character customizer. The preview of the bus of the die color is inconsistent with the preview of player models. This is the character customizer. Player can only change details value of die roots in natural color control panel. They also fix another issue where when scrolling the bus in the library, they are visible outside the UI box. They also fix an issue where long broads appear as sort when the player has a helmet attached to their hips. So now all of that was the character customizer. They also fix more issues where using the character customizer creating a character in the PU disabled all HUD UI on Arena Commander FPS game modes. That's an interesting bug, but I'm glad it's fixed now. A really commander UI elements will not be present after loading into the game, causing player to be unable to deploy. That's a good fix. They fix an issue causing bright imminent flashing on some oceans. That's a good fix. Along with this is six client crashes, one server crash, and they fix multiple server deadlocks. 
Just let y'all know my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting newer veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.